I'm often asked, what's my advice for traveling like a local? And in this next video, I'm going to give you one of my best tips. So stick around. Hey there, Ralph Velasco of the Continental Drifter, where I share simple but powerful tips designed to make your travels easier and more interesting and your photography even better. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Know that everything I talk about will be linked in the description below. All right, let's do this. Remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel. If you're going to travel like a local, then you have to put yourself in situations that the local people do. To get ideas, think about those everyday activities you do at home. One of my best tips is simply to look for regular, seemingly mundane things, like getting a haircut. A few years back, I was in Dubrovnik, Croatia, and just finishing up a group trip. Dubrovnik is absolutely one of my favorite small towns anywhere. My friend Patrick and I were staying around for an extra day or two after the group left, and he said he'd stumbled across an interesting barber shop in the old town and asked if I wanted to go check it out. I thought, great, but more than just check it out, let's get a haircut. If you've seen any pictures or video of me, which if you're watching this, you have, then you probably know I don't require much when it comes to haircuts. That said, I do shave my head and face, and I figured this man probably provides those services as well. And either way, it would be fun to meet him. Patrick told me more about his shop, saying that it was like a museum inside, scattered with old photos, dusty mementos, and antique tools that barbers used in days gone by. Sounded like a really interesting place to me and something I'm always up for. So I agreed to check it out with him the next day. Now, I've got to think that this barber only services men and isn't set up to do anything too complex. But for you women out there, to really dive into the culture, I'd recommend that you get your hair done at a proper salon. This man's probably not for you. Or how about having your nails done? These are normal activities I'm sure you do at home, so why not experience how they're done overseas? What's the worst that could happen? What other everyday activities can you think of that you could seek out while on the road? Let me know in the comments below. From what I could gather, this man's shop has been in the same location for close to a hundred years. According to him, his father and grandfather both were barbers and he carried on in the family business. If I recall, I volunteered to go first and Patrick watched and took photos and video while I went under the knife. I mean scissors. Needless to say, I tried to stay very still and let him do his thing while in old world fashion, he nonchalantly smoked a cigarette and went to work on me. Other than an inordinate number of close cuts and nicks, nothing too terrible happened. And then it was Patrick's turn. So I made some photos and video of him. In this type of situation, and any situation really, I'm always trying to look for unique and interesting angles from which to capture the scene. This place surely didn't disappoint, and I was able to use the many different mirrors he had set up throughout the shop to photograph the scene in a number of different ways. For the record, a head and face shave at the time cost 100 kuna, or about US $15, so a real bargain by most standards. Like I said, we didn't come out unscathed, and more than a few tissues were used to sop up the blood. The following year, I brought several people back from that trip to see the same man, and once again, I took one for the team. They wouldn't dare. Once again, I was a bloody mess after being in his chair, but a good laugh was had by all, and needless to say, I survived. We did this again on a recent trip to Armenia, and here's some quick video of that. It probably goes without saying, but Patrick was in on this experience as well. Something I love to do is bring back photographs from previous trips. Patrick gave me some of his to bring back to this man as well. Here's a few examples. Question of the day. Would you put yourself under the knife with someone like this? What do you do to travel like a local? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video and do let me know in the comments below if you want to see more like it. If you haven't already, be sure to look around the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss an episode give it a big thumbs up. And do me a favor, share this channel with at least one other person who you think is a great traveler like you. Next, head on over to the continentaldrifter.co website for more interesting travel and photography tips and to get my latest download. 
Finally, join our community over on the Continental Drifter Facebook page and follow me on social media. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.